The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Friday, the uh, 21st edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. Up 62, uh, 63 in the Dow at 39,199. It looks like this leg C with a nine period moving average just about to cross positive. The day's young. We'll see if it is L at the end of the day, meaning this particular index is long. Uh, that's the 914. We'll see. Uh, most importantly, what we're looking at is this rotation has continued. And look at the weekly chart. See, this uh, This is the Dow with the cup formation going to a W. If you look at the diamonds, I know sometimes people like to look at the diamonds. See, diamonds is lagging a little bit. It's only at a peak C, and it's not even close yet to the high yesterday of 390. Uh, what was that, 393 or something? Yeah, 393.11. We're at 391.78. There's a long way to go. But you can see the same thing here in the uh, weekly chart of the diamonds. Uh, look at this. The YM has already gone to a leg D in the uh, daily. So peak D was the high at 40,213. I should just check because they get smoothed out. That was the high of the 20th, um, 20th of May, 40,617. Oh, okay, it gets changed. Gets smoothed out, 617. Inter interesting. Still a big D. Nothing changes about the notation other than uh, the price gets uh, smoothed out. Yeah, so, all right, let's get back to the uh, um, what we're looking at here. We're looking at the S&P. Oh, type it in over there. Yeah, so the S&P right now is down a little bit. Down about five. No, it's down about nine. Nine point forty at fifty four sixty three. <clears throat> now, in the Chapman Wave methodology, what we're always looking for, it doesn't mean to say that has to be the end, the uh um, but it is a target that you identify a low bar, then you go from a um, you upgrade it from a buy signal to a buy mode, and the implication is it should make at least four higher peaks and I alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. A, B, C, D, that's the fourth highest peak, D. But it can even go E, F, and G um, and can go seven waves higher. But at D, other things can happen. So you can see that went to a D, a little bit of an instant restart. Went to a G, pull back, this is the S&P, at 50,044.88. And it was back in May, then it pulled back, and it held, uh, it went just underneath the 5200 level, and then it went peak A, alternate count D slash B, E slash C, and F slash D. But once you got to D, you don't need the F anymore. D is the area, and D is the, uh, is the objective. A buy signal gets upgraded to a, a buy mode, and the, and the objective is to see at least, not just, but at least a D. And there you are, D in the S&P, Q, Q, Q. Uh, went to an alternate account, G slash C, and then what did it do? At 466.86, four sessions ago, it went to a D. Now, all the weekly charts are still fabulous looking. IWM, the Russell 2000, 198.32, down 58 right now. It's been struggling. It failed at a peak year, 209.77 back in May. And here it is down at the 199. It's only 10 points. It's not a big deal. 20. Yeah, 10 points. And you can see the weekly charts making an arch formation. Looking at the SMHs. Went to a peak D if there's no new recovery high today, which is hardly likely. 279.57 was the high yesterday. We we're at 264.36. But is this a question to say, hey, this is it. The big sell-off is coming. We've got a major turnaround. Um, if you're looking at the technicals, look, the SMH is a semiconductor index or ETF. Nine pin moving average is way over the 14. That makes 260 the next support level. But it would have to go to about 252 
for that green nine period moving average to go pink, negative. And that's, well, that's, that's, a, that's a sharp move down. The MACD hasn't yet crossed negative. The relative strength, this little gray line here, has started to turn down after being a little bit overbought. Um, the stochastic is still very good at 88%, and the unbalanced volume has pulled back. So the daily chart says, yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of hesitation here, some kind of uh, short-term consolidation. Weekly chart still looks fantastic. So to get all of this, you have to get the daily chart to go from a sell signal to a sell mode. Hasn't even got to a sell signal yet, so there's nothing to see here. Let's go to the um, XLK, and there's a lot happening today, and it was articulated very well by both Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien over the last week. It's down just 82 cents at 227.98, having made an all-time high yesterday at 233.90, I think it was, uh, 232.59. And here it is at 227.96. Yeah, it is possibly the start of a pullback, but all the technicals at this point are still very strong. I just needed to see this here. This is a technical Friday, so we like to look at the technicals. So the E-mini... This is now the September, oh, September, the year's gone. <laughs> September made a peak D. <clears throat> well, first of all, it went to a G at about four o'clock on the, on the uh, that was the 20th of June. And then it went sideways. It went to a bounce like an arch formation to a peak D and then it just tumbled and went all the way down to the uh, 53, 55.30 uh, level. Then it bounced, <clears throat> went to the 200 period moving average, then it failed at a peak D, pulls back sharp to the 55.28 uh, area, bounces, goes to 55.44, and lo and behold, it takes a dive yet again to the 5. Five, uh, let me see, was that 19? Yeah, 19 area. And now it's having a very nice controlled move to the upside. And that's what I'd say to subscribers. This is a work in progress. I still see some flurries to the upside. But we will take positions on the short side if certain conditions are met. We'll see if they're going to be met. And we'll move this away right now, technical Friday. So I need to explain. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Oh, that's the five-minute chart. Okay, that's good. That's a 10-minute chart. There it is. Okay. So uh, we've gone right to the 200-period moving average in the one-minute chart yet again at 55.35. The last one was the 200-period moving average of the five-minute chart at 55.43, and then it just tumbled down to test 55.30. It actually went down to the 55.19 area. This is good action. And this is the reason why I'm I'm saying that do I take do I take this block? To, no, I don't want to discuss it now. All I'm going to say is there is a consolidation unfolding. I don't see how we can go through a whole new major buy signal when we're looking at Nvidia. Look at the Nvidia chart. This NVIDIA chart needs a rest. It's getting a rest right now, down three, almost four, at 127.99. But I don't, can this leg right here, leg D in the monthly chart, could we start a brand new move for the next few months to go even higher and double again? I just don't see that without a break, without some kind of a pause. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So as I'm looking at this, the, the chances are that we are getting the hint of some kind of a consolidation, a rotational consolidation. But this time the Dow is leading. I just want to see what's happening with the SLX. Um, yeah, a little bit of a bounce. That's the Van, e Van Eck Vector Steel ETF. Okay, so let me see. Am, am I forgetting anything? Let me just do this quickly. High-grade copper, sharp move down. Um, wood, this is the iShares Timber and Forestry ETF. Made that peak D top. Remember the fourth highest peak? That's where other things can happen. And it pulled back from the 85s, and it came tumbling down. Right now, it's hit 78s. Uh, it's right at 78 um, that's a sharp move, right? It's a, it's the arch formation. Let me just draw this in here. Technical Friday, and I'll just show you some of the techniques I like to use. Yes, this is the arch formation using the plumb line right here. That hype right there. So this is the plumb line, meaning that from this level right here at that leg D going to a peak D, you can draw a vertical line. And then you've got a left side, right side price tie match. It's a lovely technique. Look, I just I, I discovered this decades ago, and it is just fantastic. Look at this. How does the price know that it can go up from a certain level, go to a high, and then come back, and come back to the exact price low in exactly the same? I call it the. Let me just do that. This is the price time match right or look at that or you've got yourself um, a semicircle um, symmetry right from the, the the quoro that's the quarter semicircle on the upside quoro to the semicircle on the downside comes back now what I normally do is I have a particular I have webinars on this but I like to take a particular candle or point of contact to draw in the channel wave inside wedge target support line on the way down and it's pink dashed 
Okay. Well, I didn't know this would happen. I just did it purely by chance, serendipitously. And lo and behold, this is exactly what happened. But it hasn't broken uh, decisively and closed below the left side low. This is the steel. Uh, sorry, this is the wood. iShares Global and Timber Forestry ETF. 7819 was the low of the 25th of April. 85. 29 was the high of 21st of May, and today, the 21st, uh, no, sorry, the 17th, this week, the 17th of June, was the exact time price match, and it went to 78.05, and now it's trying to bounce a little bit. And here's your double top. So this just says to me, the Global Timber and Forestry ETF is telling us to be a little bit careful here, because there is some kind of a slowdown. High-grade copper. Dr. Copper says, just be careful. If there is some kind of a slowdown from that peak D top that was made. That was also around about the 20th of May. Uh, 20th of May was the top of the, the Dow, the exact day. Peak D in the weekly chart. Leg D going to almost certainly a peak D. I don't see it going to 520, 5.20 uh, in the next week. Well, we'll see, but I don't think so. And it should be a peak D in copper, continuous contract for the month. So I have the I had FCX written down. I've got a chunk of things I want to look at. So I I should have known. Here's FCX. Look at this beautiful left side, right side price tie match. Look at that. Right to the high that was made on the, tw oops, the 20th of May at 5524. This is Freeport McMurrin uh, copper and I think it's copper. It has other um, minerals as well. Look at that. From the low that was made back on the 23rd of April at 47.10, screams up to 55.24, May the 20th, comes down, and I have two Chapman Wave inside wedge target support lines, <clears throat> and where does it go to? It's the exact day, the 17th of June, it takes out the left side low, goes to 46.57, and now it's having a little bit of a bounce. And the weekly chart says, you know, uh, the 9 is still over the 14. It's a green candle for the week so far. So it might be a bit of a struggle, but I can see it actually retesting the 46 area. And right now it's at 48.99. Okay, well, let me just tell you what I had. So I want you to do the IYT. That is the, um, so the Dow is now up 108. Listen, this is a very big divergence between what we saw before. The Dow was the weakest for weeks. And the S&P, the uh, QQQ, SMH is all the strongest, and now they're having a bit of a breather. So what we're looking at is IYT <clears throat> made this double top in the uh, 71 area, and that goes all the way back to 70.60 was the high in May of 2021, plummets to 48.18 in October of 2022, screams up to a peak D, where just above, it goes to just uh, 17. I think I typed that in, right? 71.16. And that was in March. And look at this double top, retested 71.11, and comes all the way back down. Isn't it amazing how, how do these charts know to get, well, I say horizontally, people remember a round number or remember a number that was a high. So that's how you can do it. I'm always impressed at when it comes down like the FCX chart. How does it actually know to test this support level, actually even better, was wood, the iShares, Global and Timber Forestry. How does it know to test this inside wedge, champ wave, inside wedge target support line? That's amazing. That's what keeps us so intrigued about um, about these uh, charts. Um, so, thank you. I had a perfect target. But no, no, no. Oh, so, um, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, we can have targets, but markets don't always know about targets, but it's always amazing to me how much they do know. So I just want to do this. So I'm gonna, I got this uh, flashing right now. So AVPT just flashes a screamer in my uh, under $10 charts. Um, this is a Everpoint, Inc., A shares, data security. Uh, it's gone from the, from the twos all the way to where it is right now at uh, with a high today of 9.98. And uh, it's doing a very nice cup formation. It's gone to another D and uh, in the daily. 
It's a leg D in the weekly and a leg D in the monthly. Fascinating. But it's uh, I don't know what they do that. It's, it makes it so important that it's making new highs in these uh, these conditions. Uh, the other one is TNGX. TNGX. I know I've seen this before. Uh, TNG. Yeah, this is Tango Therapeutics. I spoke about it the other day. Let me just re refresh so I can get the daily chart. There, are. look at that spectacular move. I drew this in. I was going to have it for subscribers, and then I said, you know, this is a tough one because it has these single leg moves to the upside, but then it suddenly gives it back. So I have going to, I now have to move it. So when it doesn't work to the price time match that I have, I try to give it a little extra t extra room. So I'm, maybe this is too much. This oh, that's way too much. So I'm going to give it to there. Okay, let me show you something here. And that just says that Tango Therapeutics should try for the high of that ugly bar the 13th of March, which was at 10.10. .10. It's trading at 9.60 right now, sometime next week. So this is a good one to watch. Tango Therapeutics. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour, Dow's up 140, SMB's down 70. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Hi, right, folks. So just let me review IYT. That's the uh, iShares Transportation Average ETF. It's just telling me that, you know, the economy isn't quite as good as what sometimes we hear. Um, it's not bad at this point, but it's just not great. So the IYT is stuck if it at uh, uh, 64.27 at any point in the next uh, 10 sessions. If it starts to trade under 61.50, uh, that's going to be a problem. But uh, holding is not not too bad. Uh, I want to also, so I had oh, Amazon. Amazon right now is holding very nice. Typed in the wrong place. Uh, okay. Right there, Amazon is trading uh, up a dollar four at one eighty-seven point eighty. And someone asked me, doing well. I've got a four-point profit in it. Um, I might take it off. And I, I just said, you know, it's holding well. I would advise you. Yes, you can take everything off. If it was just a very short-term trade, then obviously that's your plan. Then I don't want to mess with that. But I'm just saying that it's holding well. The day is young. It could still close you know, at a 186. But right now it's at 187.26, and it's holding very well. The nine period is over the 14 in the daily. The weekly chart is fabulous. Monthly chart is fabulous. I, I would just recommend take something off right now because that was your plan at 187.29. But at the same time, I'd maybe have a trading stop on the rest and just give it a chance because if it breaks to a leg B by Monday without taking out today's low is 186.32. Uh, if it can hold um, 186.80 through the day, I don't know because I think we're selling the, – the way things are looming right now, it looks like – some selling is getting ready to take place later. We've had one session. Now we've got the 1020 session that's starting. So now some other selling will come in. And if that selling is met with buying, you could have another nice bounce going into, say, 130 to 145. Then I think you've got to start being careful because then it gets very complicated with all that's happening in the XLK. Uh, that's the S&P. Uh, tech fund, uh, yeah, just there's just a lot of things that are going on. So Amazon right now, yes, I think it's holding quite well, but maybe if you wanted to take something off, then take take off and just leave a little bit because I'd like I'd like to see if it's able to hold it in this uh, area right now and try for the 188 to 190 sometime next week. That'll be really good action. All right, next thing I want to look at here is. So CRISPR, CRISPR is trading at this point down sharply. It made a peak C, and the question was asked, do you think that this will go to a D? And what I had said is when I was asked about it, it had already gone under 64. I said the, the pullback from peak C and being in the, in the CRISPR therapeutics, being in the whole biotech area, I, I just I don't like the, spe the speed and the ferocity of the, the way it's come down. So I said, just make, make it a tight stop. It's really important um, that you preserve capital. And this has a way of really pulling back when you least expect it. I don't really, there's no other way. I, I That's a peak C no matter how I count it. So it's still a peak C because the, the low is way down to the 51s. Next question was, uh, oh, NEE. NEE was a, a, a monster to the upside for months, starting from 2023. It went from the 47 area to 80.47, um, end of May, beginning of June. And now it's trading at, well, just the other day, it was in 69, and now it's at 72.95. So it's holding the 200 period moving average of the week. I think as a long-term buy and hold, if you, if you got in, uh, I believe the person was in in the 62 or lower area. I would just hold this as long as I can. I'd have a trading position. But right now, what's really important is that it holds well next era energy. So if you're looking at it, it's got to Duke and energy. Uh, Duke is also pulling back some, but it's had a very good rally. Duke energy 
was the other one? Uh, Southern is S O. Yeah, I see Southern Company also in the energy area is holding very well at seventy nine thirty. Did I see? Was it two? Who did? I, which one did I see when I was in? Uh, uh, yeah, I just remember seeing the building. Well. Yeah, uh, Salt Lake City, I think it was. Yeah, maybe it was Salt Lake City. Um, anyway, SO is trading up 49 cents at 79.36, holding very nicely. This is, I'm going to make a note, this is probably the better one. I don't know which part of the energy area it is, electricity or, I don't know. But it's holding very nicely. Now let's go to question came in. I did that, did that, did that. Um, Fisker, Fisker is... Going broke, oh, at 8.60, uh, cents. Anyway, I don't know if it's even trading. Problem there, I saw one the other day. It's actually not a bad looking car, but it was a bad, not a bad looking car. Um, we've got AVAV. This is on my list to buy on the next big pullback. Ah, they were getting it. It hit a 224 round number high. Was it yesterday? Unbelievable. Um Leg D. Remember D's where other things can happen? So it went to a D at 224.00 yesterday, the 20th of January, and it's now trading at 188.87. Wow. Wow. Aerovironment Inc. Farm and military drones. Switch I was asked about this the other day because I pointed it out to subscribers how beautifully it was walking in the nine period moving average. And my concern was... <clears throat> when it took a bit of a hit, that if it went under the 14-period moving average, it would be the close under the 14, would be the first time that it's closed under it in months, and that it could be quite a severe pullback. I didn't expect this. It is a very severe leg E in the weekly chart, G slash C in the monthly. Wow. Next question came in here. Uh, PAL. So P-A-L-L is palladium. Palladium is up sharply, Ooh, up at, up seven at 91.87, um, 8%. Very nice. That's palladium. Let's see what the other, let's look at platinum. Platinum is up a little bit. It's actually hit the 200 period moving average. Now it's trying to uh, rally a little bit. Let's look at W, which is wheat. Uh, Thus wheat has just tumbled to the downside. I, I'd warned about this. A little while ago, I, I do not trade this. I think Larry's the one that trades wheat and corn and soybean. But look at that move. This is the Eiffel Tower, straight up in the weekly chart and straight down. So what have we got? We've got a sharp D. Tried to rally. Now it's pulled back. This is the C. Wow. Uh, down at 566. Down six and a half points. It was up in the 720s the other day. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So folks, we're looking at Coco, had a spectacular move in the monthly chart, uh, going right from down here, the 1.5s or something like that, all the way to uh, 11,000. Amazing. And now it's just gone peak A, B, C, D, E, and it's stalling. But it is trying to make a cup and handle to get back to the 11,000 level. It was actually 10,952 10, in the continuous contract. Look at, um, look at, so this is, this is the week that we looked at, right? There's the beautiful left side, right side price time match to that peak D. It's a little aggressive. It says by Tuesday we should be testing the left side low in the 50 uh 552 area the soybean also made a second cup this is almost like an inverse cup and handle formation and went right to the 200 p moving average in the daily and then plummeted all the way down the 1152 area looks like it wants to be tested it's trading at 1161 right now uh corn corn is also tumbling down to test the left side lows of april it's at uh uh, 439 also made a peak D and got that HMW inside track repellent zone daily chart. Uh, let's go to soybeans. So, oh, sorry, I always say soybeans, but it's actually sugar. Made a peak D. It's pulling back to the 19 area. It's just kind of stuck. Let's go to L's, uh, LH, which is lean hogs. And let's see, that's the mm, lean hog continuation pattern. It looks Lower lows and lower lows and lower highs and lower, li lower lows and lower highs. Just keeps going. LC, did I do that? Live cattle. This is a big one. Look, this is peak A, B, C, D uh, to an E, and then it pops up. So this is at 182. And this is just saying that it's trying to get to the high that was made in the continuous contract of the 14th of March. That's it. 184.60 is trading right now at 182.20. Look at that monthly chart, very nice. Coco, uh, KC, I think you're right, KC. Yeah, KC made a spectacular move up into the 240s. Uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, and this is a peak D right here in, in the monthly chart. Yeah, so if it can break 240, it's a 229 right now. If it can... I would have to say close. It might be just able to break, but I'd like it to close over 240. Then it will tackle in this rectangle formation the 246.00 round number high of the 18th of April. So I did that, did that, did that. Um, oh, bonds. So bonds are just stuck in the range, in the higher range. That so that means, let me just do the TBT for the moment. So the TBT has come down to the lower range. And that's really important. And yet, the market oh, is having trouble kind of re responding to that. If you go to the HGX, the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index, uh, look at that. It's making the same kind of pattern. It looks the same. It's arching over. 
at uh, six six nine, um, down four. If it if it closes under six six two, there's a real good chance that these two lows that remain on the twenty fifth of April of six five six point forty nine and six five five point fifty will be tested, and that'll be a good sign because. Um, no, it'll be a good sign if the TBT comes down. This should bounce, but it hasn't bounced yet. So the TBT is the ultra-short Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund. I said I'd do this, and I'm going to do that. So VST. Yeah, so VST is um, Vistra Core. So it's got this dreaded H pattern. Did it peak? Now, in Chubb Wave, if it doesn't make a peak D, there's a chance that it just freshly misses going to that leg D, and it could go to a peak C1, C2. C1, C2 is a double top, and you can see it's pulled back from the 108, 109 area down to the 80, 85 where it is, and it's got the nine-period moving average negative. So it's taking a well-earned digestive phase in the daily chart right there, and it's a peak F in the weekly. So expect that this is going to take a little bit longer to die. Vistra Corporation. Basil, AMRK, AMRK. AMRK is... <clears throat> At 33.63, this is um, A mark precious metals. Um, yeah, well, it's testing the 200 period moving average is at 33.63. I think this whole 32.91, this is going to be a digestive phase. It's like a magnet line. I think it's going to bounce around you for a little while. If it's able over the next five to seven sessions, that's going into July, if it's able to test 31 without closing under 31 but in fact in five or six sessions time it closes above 35 then it's done the digestive phase and it's ready for a bounce if it closes under 31 it's going to be stuck in this range a little bit longer uh yes uh no i said cc well i thought cc i didn't i say that i said cc was coco and that went peak a B, C, D. Yeah, I did that. So Coco had that spectacular move up into the 11,000s. Coffee, I thank you for correcting me. Yeah, and, and coffee is KC. Uh, coffee is KC. Yeah, right. Coffee is in sideways uh, digestive phase. Um, I, I used to have it all notated. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so question came in. I'm um, just checking. Okay, so we need to do a couple of things here. So I did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, TT, Crane. This is TT's uh, Train Tech PLC <clears throat> had a, a sudden pop to the upside. And my question was, is that a peak E slash B or is that a, just a B? And I'm going to put that in now because <clears throat> this kind of double top says that monitor it closely because as long as the nine period moving average is over the 14, there's a really good chance that train tech TT is a symbol 333.33, down 2.60 right now. It's going to retest the highs and try to get to the 345-ish area. It's at 333 right now. So this is train tech PLC heating, air conditioning. What a week we've had. Whoa, air conditioning. HVAC, refrigerator systems, <clears throat> leg dean monthly. I've got this as a C in the weekly chart. It's a kind of... I'm just staying with that. I think it's a C, and I think it can go a little bit higher, and then you've got to be careful. So, okay. Now, the question came in, Apple. Yeah, Apple did pull back from the recent high, and I have it at a peak C, <clears throat> but it's holding so well. It's up $1.42 at $2.11.10. $2 so what I'm looking at here now, now let me do this. It's Technical Friday. <clears throat> I'll do this before the end of the end of the show. So um, Stan Hawley has been just outstanding. And he has these cycle dates. He didn't talk about this yesterday exactly the way I would have liked to have heard it because it would have made it much clearer. <clears throat> but he was very clear that he's got his dates. The dates are the dates. It doesn't matter whether it's June or May or it's a Tuesday or a th Labor Day. It doesn't matter what it is. I suppose Labor Day it would because it's not a market day. <clears throat> But what he does say is that's the date. I have my dates for the upside, he says, and I have my cycle dates for the downside. It's based on two different parts of the Lucas system, etc. And what's really interesting is I'm looking at this and I'm saying, if he's expecting a low and then a huge move to the upside when this low is complete and the low should be completed any day this week, <laughs> 
Am I looking at the SMHs, the semiconductors, not having a breather, but in fact continuing to be upside? Am I looking at SMCI not having a breather, but streaming above at 1229? Am I looking at all these spectacular stuff that aren't going to have a breather at all? Uh, Micron, up at an all-time high just two days ago, 157, now down 139. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, so just let me clarify. Uh, so, so someone sent me a note saying, oh, so after 30 years of watching the market every minute of the day, you're now relying on the stand? Hey, no, I respect people who make really good calls. That's what I was saying. And I always like to put it into my, my thinking in terms of um, does is, is there any way that it either helps me or it, dis, it dislocates what I'm thinking at all. So uh, timing-wise, I use, you know, I use my PDs. I use all the other things in the Chapway methodology. So I, I respect it, and I think that it's really important to always um, – to be open to education. I treat it as education. That's the most important thing and a fabulous work that he does. All right, that, that was my reason for bringing it up. Most importantly, let me just do this and I'll do this now since it's Friday and we just about wrap it up. I'm gonna give you over to uh, 
right here, Steve Rhodes, and all the rest of the great uh, technicians. Let me just show you. Look, the Dow has moved up very nicely. It's still in this rectangle. I've been talking about the weekly chart as being the cup formation going to a W formation, a U going to a second U, W, right? So it's as, uh, within the uh, within the confines that we've been discussing all this time. I'm looking at the whoops. I'm looking at the S and P. The S and P, in many ways, is overbought on a purely tech. Look, the on balance volume is overbought, but the stochastic is flat at 93 percent. That is great. This is the daily weekly chart is also at 91 percent. So it will be a short term pullback, and you, I have to have the criteria. I have to have all the parameters that are met before, and I've, I've said that to subscribers, before we actually take a, a short position here. Look at the um, QQQ, it's the same thing. Peak D again, same as the S&P. Peak D, and this is where I get a bit, a bit cautious with the stochastics at 93. Look at the SMHs. This is a peak D again. It was a peak D because there's no new high today. So these are the things that are saying to me, be a little bit careful here on the short term, but those weekly charts are still very strong. I hope that helps you. And I didn't do the dollar. The dollar, we are so long, the dollar for 2018, is in leg.